All right, so Final Shape is legit two days away. So I wanted to make a quick video going over um, what weapons are going to be able to be enhanced as well as craftable in Final Shape because a lot of people don't even know that these weapons are going to be enhanceable. So what that even means, if you're wondering, what does that mean for us? So as you see on this Luna's Howl in the TWAB here, they got the perks in the first slot and the second slot. They have two sets of perks on them as well as they are enhanced. So enhanced perks make those perks a little bit better. At the end of the day, there's usually not like that big of a difference with enhanced perks, but it's always nice to have those on weapons in general. You know, it doesn't hurt. So in the final shape, Bungie did announce that all new weapons will either be craftable or you can enhance them as well as we're going to have a bunch of other weapons that are going to be enhanceable in the final shape. So the Brave Arsenal weapons, so like Luna's Howl, um, Edge Transit, for example, all those weapons are going to be enhanceable for their perks in the final shape, as well as we have the Vow of the Disciple Raid Adept weapons that you can enhance. Any weapons that are going to be dropping from Guardian Games, you can enhance those. From the King's Fall Raid Adept, you can enhance any of those. So if you have any of these weapons right now, they are going to be enhanceable once the final shape hits. So you have King's Fall Raid Adepts, Gambit, Competitive Crucible, all the Trials weapons, all of the Crucible weapons, all of the Iron Banana weapons, all of the Strike and Nightfall weapons can be enhanced, as well as the Prophecy Dungeon. I also do want to mention that this will include older instances of these weapons, as long as they have an origin trait. I guess um, something with a coding or whatever. Um, Weapons before Season 17 that have Origin Traits, Interactive Drops, but they will not be eligible for Weapon Enhancement. Uh, I, I don't know why. Something probably simple with the coding there, but I think they plan on either fixing that or when they reissue the weapons and they become part of the playlist drops again. They say that they're going to update the older versions that have Origin Traits to, epin or to enter Weapon Enhancement, so we'll see about that, but I just want to make a quick video going over that if you have any of these weapons as well as all your Brave Arsenal weapons, in the final shape, you're going to be able to enhance those perks. Just kind of wanted to make a quick video going over that. And also, any new weapon that we get in final shapes. According to this, it's all going to be craftable or enhanceable. So, pretty exciting, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this, as well as two days away from final shape. Let me know if you're excited. See you all in the next one. Peace.